Hi, welcome to This Week in Ames. I'm Susan Guiazda. On today's show, we'll check in with the Ames Finance Department. My guest today is Dwayne Pitcher, Finance Director with the City of Ames and Senior Department Head. Dwayne, welcome to the show. Thanks, Susan. Great to be here again. Uh, we're well into the midst of the budget and this is a good opportunity to talk about it before we start the public input sessions. Certainly seems early to be talking about next fiscal year. It doesn't start until July 1st, 2016. Must be a lot of prep work building up to this. There is a lot of preparation. Uh, starts with uh, input from the public early on in October when we do a, a town budget meeting. And we're already doing some work at that point, but the departments put their budgets together. And part of the reason that it's done early is because we actually need to file the budget by the middle of March. So they're, you know, even though the year starts July 1st, we need to be done well prior to that. Well, and this year was kind of a landmark, one of the first town budget meetings that you weren't able to attend. Still, I understand we had good attendance at that meeting and really kicked off the process with um, a fair amount of input this year. I heard we did, and I'm sure the fact of the good attendance and my not being there was just a coincidence, but I was off uh, doing some training. Okay. That kicks off the budget process. A lot of times we get some public input on um, where funding streams should be directed, um, but that's not the only opportunity for public input. That's correct. We have a series of public hearings that will come up. Uh, actually, we open one public hearing that goes over a series of uh, several nights, and I believe that starts on February 2nd. That's Ground a Hawks Tuesday. Day. That's a Tuesday. And that's, I believe, an off council meeting time. So it, it's not a regular council meeting. So we'll go that Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And those meetings do start at 5.15, not the typical 6 o'clock meeting. That's right. And we'll go over the, the operating budget during uh, those three meetings. Then a week later, we'll, we'll do a wrap-up session. And that's Tuesday, February 9th? That's right. Now, in January, prior to that, we'll also have a couple meetings where we talk about the capital improvement plan. Now, that plan covers five years, and that is just as it's described, it's a plan, it's not the actual budget, and the first year will be rolled into the budget and discussed as part of that process. That first budget overview is scheduled in the afternoon, uh, Friday, January 29th. Friday the 29th, I believe we start at 2 o'clock, and we usually run till close to 5, and uh, that is open to the public also. Uh, we, we spend a lot of time going over a lot of detail in that session, and it's not a public input session. So if there's anyone interested in the the real details of the budget, they could certainly uh, attend that meeting. So one of the things that I know your department tries to do is get as many of these documents online as possible so people can really dig into that information. However, there are, they are in draft form until we get through the process. That's correct, and they're well marked uh, that way. Uh, our goal is to have them PDF'd and searchable and out on the, on the web as soon as they're sent to the council. So at the same time they're sent to the council in, in the same format, we will post them out at the web. And I think you do often some links on the front page mm -hmm. so you don't need to go back and look in finance. Uh, you can certainly look on our web page for older reports if you want to uh, look through those, but they're, they're all out there and ready to be looked at. And of course, you can always call. Yeah, you talked about that series of meetings in February. What's so interesting about those meetings is that it does look at uh, departmental budgets. So if you're only interested in, say, uh, streets or how Parks and Recreation is um, spending money, you could just uh, attend those meetings or watch those meetings online. Absolutely. Those are scheduled out so you can see when the area of your interest will be coming up. Um, CIP, it's, it's all grouped together, so th those are all at once. And areas like uh, Parks and Rec, uh, they're discussed in their board meetings also. So uh, look for those meetings where they'll discuss th those budgets. So uh, anything that is unusual about this year, anything that you're concerned about, um, how does the budget look? The budget looks good. Uh, you know, I think we've seen some recovery overall in the economy, and that uh, reflects well in some areas such as local option sales tax. We already know we have some improvement in that area. Uh, you see the construction around the city and that increased some valuation. And as you recall, a couple of years ago, there was a change in the road use tax and that was increased by 10 cents a gallon. And that's allocated out to the cities for road improvements. So all those things are kind of falling in place for this upcoming year, which uh, 
provide some a little bit of additional funding. So I think the budgets look pretty good. So that's an interesting, I don't know that people make that connection. When you see growth and development happening in the community, that can, um, that can help a, a city's bottom line. It also means extension of services, and that's an ongoing cost. That's right. There's the extension of services, and then there's also that upfront cost to put in infrastructure. And then there's also a delay in seeing that value. So, for example, for the upcoming year, 1617, that's for value that was in place as of January 1st, 2015. So people may uh, drive by the research park, for example, and see a, a new building that's almost done. Uh, you know, that value will not be part of the tax base for the year we're discussing right now. And the other thing I just want to clarify, because I think people sometimes get confused, when you get, if you're a homeowner and you get your property tax bill, that is not just the city as a taxing body, that is a compilation of other taxes as well. That's correct. The city is a little bit less than a third of the bill if you're within the Ames School District in Ames, and we're even a little less than that if you're in the Gilbert School District and live in Ames. So it's all broken out on the bill, so it's, it's a good good opportunity to look at that and see how much goes to the schools, see how much goes to the county, uh, county hospital, so that the biggest two are the city and the school system. But there's other little pieces there that they can take a look at. Yeah, so the, your property tax bill is not just the city, it is a, it's these other taxing bodies as well. And, and that's kind of important to keep uh, in mind when you look at your bill. Sure, that's, that's correct. So, anything else as you look in the horizon? I know your days will be very busy with budget. Um, what do you keep busy with the rest of the year? Well, we're, we have an annual report that we're just wrapping up right now for the year that's finished. Um, we're, we're always working at uh, implementing the budget, uh, economic development projects. We started a new TIF district this year out at the Iowa State Research Park. A lot of big projects going on. Uh, last night we just uh, approved the sale of bonds to fund the conversion of the power for the electric plant from coal to natural gas. Uh, we've, we've got the water plant going, so there's, uh, we're involved in all those. I mean, they all take money for the most part, so uh, uh, there's a lot of things going on in finance. Sounds like you're busy year-round. We are. Dwayne, I'm glad you could take a few minutes to talk to us about the budget. We'll, ha we'll be happy to have you back. All right, we'll see you next year. So if you want more information about uh, city finances, the budget documents, and the upcoming schedule, be sure to check out our website at cityofames.org. You might notice that website has a, has a new and improved look. That is a new redesign that we implemented in November. Please take a look around the website and give us your feedback. Please also remember that City Hall and most city offices will be closed on Thursday, December 24th and Friday, December, 5th, December 25th for the Christmas holidays. Well, that's our show for today. Thanks for watching and tune in next week for This Week in Ames.